So we now had enough time for the uh, putty to cure up, and so now it's time to begin sanding. Now you want to be careful, as a lot of the time there are small bumps and little bits of detail in kits such as right here. Don't know how well you can pick up on camera, but there's a little, a little bump that you want to be careful of and make sure you don't sand off as I have done that before and not proud of So anyway, so you just want to be very careful and deliberate with your sanding, making sure that you're not sanding off anything that you shouldn't be sanding. And you also want to make sure you don't sand too much and start sanding away at the panel lining as in general, that's something you definitely want to keep since that's on the real aircraft. Now again, you want to, when you're sanding, make sure you keep changing the part of the sanding instrument you're using so as to ensure that you're using a good portion and getting a lot of bite into it. Now, some kits are better than others when it comes to places that may need filling. Um, obviously, the ideal being one where you don't have to do any type of sanding or filling, which there are some out there that really just pretty much shake and bake, which is nice. Again, periodically you want to just run your finger along it and see how the sanding process is going. And uh, make sure that you're making a difference in Don't be afraid to just take time and make sure you do it right. Now, we won't really be fully able to tell if we fully got there filled until we prime. So for now, I won't worry too much about getting it absolute, absolute perfect. But if you can, then you're in good shape. So yeah, as you can already see how much of a difference that's made. Now, um, I'm going to finish up doing the rest of this up on camera to save time. So, so now all the sanding has been finished up. And we can now be moving on to more important. Next of which is the cockpit. <clears throat> Now, typically with aircraft kits, this is usually, frankly, where you start. Here, we're pretty far along. Now, at this point, it's also, you generally will want to pick out whether you want to do uh, with the figure or without. For this build, I'm going without. So, much like before, more or less do what trimming out parts. Now one part in particular you want to be careful with are small parts like the control stick here. Now these you want to be very very careful with because they are very brittle and in fact easily lost. Now one trick I like to do is to trim them out leaving a little bit of the uh, pour stub or and the tree that it connects to attached. This allows me to much easier put the thing on my little paint use and makes it easier and less likely to get lost. So that's a important little tidbit. Now big sections such as this cockpit tub. Now these are 
interesting is you can cheat a little with them and that some areas of it again you don't have to super get cleaned up as they're never going to be seen and areas such as here fortunately the back seat panel and our other areas which you can cut some corners on since a lot of it is not going to be seen now some parts such as the seat um, will sometimes want to pop off on their own best case scenario it pops off and you don't have to do anything but just something to be aware of now one aspect of this kit which I'm not going to show on camera which I'll show later is the instrument panel um, unlike most kits which have all the dials and such on there this one uses a decal now I'm not going to show decaling at this point I'll show it later on in the build so as to ensure ensure that um it's, you guys are able to better see and understand the process of it but for now I'm just giving the heads up sometimes you do have to um, do things a little out of order now one thing that's also nice about this kit is it also includes another decal uh, for straps and most aftermarket stuff it's done by um, photo edge metal now it looks like I'm just about out of time so uh, come back and I'll have talk about cleaning up and um, yeah I'll get to painting the cockpit